K-I-L-R Taylor Games Where is the radio? Well, that's not the radio. This is us. I forgot the. It was five one six four. Go to ground, which is 118.75. All right. Oh, ground. Two three. Roger, roger, six six two two three. F one nine or nine or zero. Run F four six zero zero five nine at the terminal with information. I can't change the. F four six six zero five. Take take and hold. It's not. It's not letting me change the autopilot uh, function here. To the uh, maybe that doesn't do anything there. Maybe it's this one. This could be a scary flight. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Aha! Aha! There we go. Maybe. Okay, well, apparently that is the highest that we're going to be able to do. That's weird. It's not letting us go more than 7,000 feet, unless I have the wrong button. Ground 
Ground, Continental, one, Niner, one, clear of the runway. Request taxi to terminal. All right, well, we'll stick with 7,000 then. <laughs> okay, so runway 23 is behind us. Now, we don't have a pushback, so we're going to have to use the slew mode to go backwards. Yeah, look at those frames. Awesome. Got some awesome frames, uh, frame rate going on here. Eighty six box, yes, I am familiar with that one. And I believe that is okay, no, that's not how I got Flight Simulator One to work. I was using PCE is what I was using. Ground, UPS, Niner, six seven, quest altimeter setting. UPS Niner six. Altimeter is two nine or nine or six. Roger two nine or nine or six UPS nine or six seven. Okay, just making sure my controller is working here. Okay, 23 is that way. So we got to turn around this way. Oh, there's the taxiway. Oh, no, wait, that goes to the runway. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. What's United Airlines doing out here? United 621, altimeter is 2906. Roger, 2996, United 621. Yeah, I don't think the 3D performance is going to be any um, any better than what we're getting here. Take a look at the buildings. Take a look, I'm going off the runway here. Yeah, so this was a uh, custom-made airport that I downloaded. Guy put quite a bit of work into this.
Roger, Casper, two, two, one, Zulu. Where's the heading thing? Is this it? Yeah, this is a very rough game to get working with full compatibility with add-ons and everything. So, like, you can get it to run in VMware on Windows 98, but then you're stuck with, like, 256 colors or something. It looks bad. It looks awful. Because VMware cannot... Uh, uh, for Windows 98, it, it doesn't do 3D acceleration, so it doesn't look that good. Um, but everything is compatible, every, every, uh, at least from what I've been able to see. Um, if you, you can install this natively on Windows uh, 7, um, probably Windows 10, it'll look better. Um, it still won't have 3D accelerated graphics. So you'll see color banding up in the sky. The runways at night will be blue. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it doesn't quite look look the greatest. The frames will be better, though. You know that the flight, the flying will be a lot smoother. But then, uh, like, some add-ons don't work correctly or don't work at all. So the only way that I've been able... The only solution I've been able to find is PC Emulator. Where you get the 3D acceleration, you get the 3D FX. So you're, you're seeing the graphics as they should be. But the uh, the frame rate is really rough. Uh, Flight Simulator two thousand, yes, will work on XP. Um, the graphics look better than ninety eight. But it's still the 3D acceleration still doesn't work. Run F1, is clear of the runway. You'll still see color banding up in the sky. It won't look smooth. Taxi to terminal. Um, also, my Roger, FS Fon traffic doesn't work. It will not install. Um, I don't think ProFlight 2000 works correctly either. I think I had what I had to do is I had to create the I had to create the uh, ATC Adventure with like the Flight Simulator 98 version and then copy it over in order to get it to work. Yeah, it's I have tried all kinds of combinations. To get the best possible experience and this is the best thing that I could find short of building an actual retro computer do you see the plane coming in do you see the air traffic that's part of the reason why we have uh, why the frames are a little harsh 
If I didn't have that turned on, it would be smoother. It would be, yeah, it would be a little bit more smoother. Here he comes. Yeah, so if you see the sky, how smooth that is, it won't look like that on XP. You'll still see, and the clouds, it won't look smooth. If you want an idea, just look at my Flight Simulator 2000 uh, videos on the uh, Killer Gamers World Tour, and, and you'll you'll see exactly what it looks like. So here he comes. Okay, we need to go to tower 118.7. And request take off. Tower and off. One, nine, or nine, or zero. Runway two, three, ready for take off. Roger, fleet for takeoff. SS on. One, nine, or nine, or zero. Tower, Midland, three, one, seven, ready for takeoff. Request east, departure. British Midland, three, one, seven, cleared for takeoff, east, departure, approved. Roger, cleared for takeoff, Midland, three, one, seven. So this poor little Pinium uh, 233 is trying to, it, it's trying to render out the the atmosphere, the the buildings, the autogen, the well, it doesn't have autogen, but um, in a way it kind of does. But then the terrain, this was the first simulator that had the terrain mesh. So yeah, there's a lot going on with the simulator, and it's it. That's why it's chugging along. All right, let's turn on auto throttle. And the heading. And that is, this is not the altitude, this is the, um, I think that's the vertical speed right there. Yeah. If it's giving me a negative figure, that's the uh, vertical speed. 
Ah, crap, come on. Roger, left, left, downwind, F4, 2, 0, 8. Okay. Altimeter, I forgot what they told us. Whoops. Ah, oh, that's the heading. Dang it. Alright, that's close enough. <laughs> there we go. That'll be fine. And guess what? The autopilot actually works. <laughs> hey, fly low. Hey, you're just in time for a retro flight here. We're flying the same exact flight that we did on X-Plane, and we also did Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, just before this. So flying from Switzerland, Geneva, Geneva, Switzerland, uh, to St. Catherine. And there we go. The autopilot is on, and oh my goodness, look, it works. <laughs> and this is why I get annoyed with Flight Simulator 2020. Because if these old simulators can get it right, why can't the new one? Departure F one nine or nine or zero. Hard up three thousand four four thousand. Roger F one nine nine zero. Red contact altimeter is two two nine eight one. So do you see the clouds? It would not look this smooth um, if you did not have the uh, the Voodoo 3DFX uh, going. Roger, Alpha 1990. Turn left, heading 0905. Climb and maintain flight level 190. 0, 0905. F one nine nine zero. Your speed two two five zero. Whoops. I think this is the speed one right here. Nope, it's this one here. Land the gear is up. No, actually in Flight Sim 2020 it went it went okay. Um, I got the updated, uh, fly-by-wire mod for the Airbus. Um, it was a little rough, but I was able to get it landed. We kind of went off the runway at the end, <laughs> but I did get it landed, as opposed to some of the other ones. The X-Plane one was fine. I flew the 737 Zebo on that, and it was, it was fine.
That one went, went, went well. See, frames are a little bit better. Once that message uh, disappears, you'll be able to see the frames. So see, it's at about 10.2 frames per second. It's just whenever you're in a higher scenery area, the frames just go but see, it's be it's better now. F one nine nine zero turn right heading one four zero to join the Gulf three two climb and maintain flight level one nine zero. Roger right. One four zero out of eight thousand four flight level one nine zero F one nine nine zero. Okay, turn the one four zero and set the altitude. Here it is one nine zero. And when I click and hold, it doesn't take forever for the not of for what I'm selecting to get there. Yep, so here we go, folks. We are on our way. You are seeing a retro flight here with Flight Simulator 2000. The same two airports that we flew earlier. Oh yeah, with the new sim, graphically it looked great. I had no complaints with the graphics. But um, the Airbus, the actual, uh, with the mod, the updated mod, thanks to Aero by Sector, he, uh, he clued me in on getting the, the mod updated and using the developer version. The autopilot was so much better on the Airbus. I didn't feel like I had to fight it on that one. Oh yeah, did you guys know that this is the first flight simulator that showed rain? Well, the first Microsoft flight simulator that showed rain. Um, the old versions of X-Plane <laughs> had rain on the windshield, I think, before Microsoft Flight Simulator did. Yeah, but as far as the Microsoft series, this is the first one that showed rain on the windshield. You think it would be Flight Simulator 98, but it wasn't.
But, I mean, come on, let's be honest. I mean, all things considering, this... Back in the day, this looks... Really cool. It played like garbage, but it looks great. <laughs> Can see the mountain peaks up here. I think those aren't. Isn't that like the Swiss Alps? Four point five. Roger one two four point five. F -hop -hop. one nine -er, nine -er, zero. Good day. Control F -hop. one nine nine -er, nine nine -er, zero. Out of fifteen thousand five hundred four. Flight level one nine zero. Roger aircraft. One nine nine zero. Challenger nine six eight. Victor, contact approach on one two zero point one five. Roger one two zero point one five. Challenger nine six eight. Victor, good day. Good day. <laughs> Look at that, the speed thing on this is working too. How cool is that? <laughs> Whoop, wrong one. Auto throttles working just like it should. Take a look at the GPS here. There we go. There's our flight path. Now, unlike the other two flight simulators, unfortunately, this is not going to connect to Navigraph. <laughs> so we will not be able to track our progress on Navigraph. Sorry to disappoint. Okay, I believe we're at 19,000? It's hard to read. Um, I noticed that when you use uh, Voodoo, Voodoo graphics, reading the text is really hard to read. Like, you know, I can't read this. I can't see what that says. But I think we're close to... 19,000 because it's it's beginning to level off now and yeah, we just adjust our viewpoint here and we can 
look out the front window and we can see the uh, the Swiss Alps can look out the side window Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. For those on YouTube that can't click on that link, this is what Aero Bisector was sharing right here. He was doing some controlling on uh, on uh, VATSIM. I assume that's VATSIM. But yeah. It's quite a bit here. Kind of hard to see. But this, this is what it looked like for him. I have no idea what that guy just said. Roger, one three five. One three five. Okay. Arrow five four four seven. Contact approach on one two two. Let's increase our speed here. Now this, by the way, this is not a default aircraft. This, this is a payware aircraft or it was part of a, a compilation. I can't remember if uh, it was part of one of my airport 2000 series or it was like something that that had like airport scenery and then it also had uh, some aircraft and uh, panels oh but it came uh, from that so this is this is not a default Airbus in uh, flight sim
Officer. Eight, three, four, Yank. Contact approach on one, two, zero, point, one, five. Watch, watch, one, one, two, two, zero, point, one, one, five. Don't, don't there. Eight, three, four, four, Yankee. Good day. I'd be able to go back and do the same flight and uh, explain six, I think maybe five, I'm not sure if it has world coverage, but I'd be able to do it in like explain six, seven. <laughs> so if you'd wanted to see a, like an old explain version do the, doing the same flight, you definitely can. Don't have many aircraft to choose from. Looks like frames, yeah, we're sitting on an average of 10 frames per second. It's like bouncing between 9 and 10. Do I fly on VATSIM? I have flown on VATSIM. Um, I haven't been for uh, several months, but I have done it. Um, and on... Uh, the Killer TV YouTube channel, there is a series called That Sim Ventures, uh, which is going from airport to airport on That Sim. Uh, it doesn't have many episodes at the moment, but uh, those were done um, on That Sim, so. So yeah, I have done it. I've I've been meaning to get back to it. Um, it's just I've got a lot of projects that I'm working on. I think we can increase our speed even more. Whoops. <laughs> Cherokee, set, set one, three, three, echo, contact, echo, approach on one, one, two, zero, zero, point, one, five. I am hungry. <laughs> it's like stream's been like almost six hours. <laughs> and uh, I've got some plans to do car mechanic simulator uh, today. So after I take a break. Um, I'll be back and we'll be doing some car mechanic simulator. 
Yeah, you get to see me uh, fix cars. <laughs> sort of. Six five. Roger, right. One one six five. And one nine 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 zero. zero. We're about to fly over a city here. It looks like. Yeah, whatever this is here. Looks like oh top okay I think that was supposed to be top of descent. This is the coastline right here. And A B N was we flew over that in the uh, other simulators. Uh, Albenga. So we'll see Albenga here in a in a little bit. camera there. Oh! Oh my goodness. Ugh, gotta get up and stretch. Two 
I think Albenga is coming up. I see the water. I believe this is the coastline coming up right here. Yep. Here it is. So that should be Albenga right there. Um, Albenga, Italy, I believe. And out there in the distance is the island where St. Catherine is at. Ice Air 100, contact approach on 119.66. Continent six eight control. Walk four three two zero and I then verify altitude. Continental six eight squawking four three two zero level at flight level two two zero. Aerofly four two seven control. Squawk six five seven six and I then verify altitude. Aeroflot four two seven squawking six five seven six level at flight level one eight zero.
So what you're hearing is very similar to what we used in X-Plane 11 <clears throat> with the ProFlight emulator, which emulates ProFlight 2000, um, adds a lot more voices, and allows you to use it on FS9, FSX, P3D, and also X-Plane 11 um, with a plug-in. So I use that for the ATC on X-Plane. And then we use the glorious ATC that comes with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. <laughs> It was okay. We are flying over the water now. There's the mainland. That's Albenga back there. So for those of you who've been watching this since the beginning, you got to see this on X Plane and yeah. Flight Sim 2020. And now you can see it here on Flight Simulator 2000, a simulator from 20 years ago. There it is, right up ahead, so we're, we're getting close. Top of descent is about 13 miles.
Aircraft one nine nine zero. Descend and maintain one four thousand. Altimeter is two nine six zero. All right, here we go. Roger, hard at flight level one nine five four fourteen thousand. Aircraft one nine nine zero. Do better than that. I'll reduce speed to about 210. Crap. <laughs> they got us going down the three six also. Roger, hard at forty thousand four ten thousand F one nine or nine or zero. to 1.4 
should be able to see that island here soon. Now, if you remember from the previous two flights of how we had to fly around and over that, those mountains to land on runway 36, now you'll get to see what it looks like in Flight Simulator 2000. Ugh. Approach Fed Express 864 at 5000 squawking 3230. FedEx 864 to left heading 300. Roger, turn 300 Fed Express 864. There's the island right there. We're down in speed, so I think I can start putting down some flaps. That's the brakes. <laughs> Approach Lufthansa 414 at 8000, squawking 7554. Lufthansa 414, descent and maintain 4000. Roger, down to 4000, Lufthansa 414. Uh-oh. We're stalling here. I was getting worried. I didn't see the control panel.
Okay, so the airport should be to the left of us. There it is. There's the airport. St. Catharines. And here we are coming around the mountains just like we did in the other ones. Except I'm stalling. This one's having a little bit of trouble. I'm going to turn off the auto throttle. I wish I knew what altitude we're at because I can't... Oh wait, there's a way to find out. Well, nope, because I can't read it there. Well, I can if I do this. We're at 6,300, okay. For some reason, the flaps had gone up, too. Approach, air 
Air France, one niner niner zero. Turn left, heading zero niner zero. Air France, one niner niner zero. Descent and maintain four thousand. Air France, one one niner niner zero. Turn left, heading zero six zero. Air France, one niner niner zero. Descent and maintain five thousand five hundred. Roger, hard at five thousand five and and four five thousand five hundred at home. One niner niner zero. Air France, one one niner niner zero. Turn left, heading zero two five. The airport is to the north. One one five miles. Report airport in sight. Air France, one niner niner zero. Descent and maintain two thousand. Air France, one niner niner zero. Turn left, heading three six zero. Descent and maintain two thousand. The airport is to note one four miles. Report airport in sight. Roger, Air France, one niner niner zero. So it's going to be right above these mountains, just like the last time. <laughs> I thought it crashed. Yeah, so once we get over these mountains here. Okay, it's 11 miles. Air France, one niner, niner, zero. Reduce speed to two, zero, zero. Yep, I see the airport. Approach, F -com. one niner niner zero has the airport. F friends, one niner zero niner zero, clear to final four runway three six. Contact over on one two zero point eight when established. One two zero point eight. Tower, where are you? I think I hit the mountain. <laughs> Whoa. 
I think the landing gear hit the edge of the mountain as we were coming down. Or maybe it was that guy. Not quite on the runway, but it's hard to see it with this. With how the dash, uh, how big that is. Now we'll just go ahead and turn around here. You, um, you can, I can take this and I can squish it down, but then it, um, well, I'll show you. So it, you can squish it down like that. I'll bring it up just a little bit. And then take the scenery itself. So yeah, you can do that. It's just, uh, with the 2D panels, it's... It's always been a little difficult to be able to... be able to see it but um yeah That just seems like sacrilege, doesn't it? A 2D panel in FSX? <laughs> uh, some of the payware aircraft I have for uh, FS9 um, have 2D panels. And, you know, like everything functions with it. And the 3D panel, the 3D cockpit is like half uh, functional. Here's that little uh, small roadway taxiway thing that's off to the side. We saw that on the other two simulators. And this is the way to turn in over here.
What is that? Is that the fuel tank or the uh, fuel box? <laughs> I think the fuel box is over here. Perfect. This is Wo Wo Park. Got to go to ground here. All right. And that wraps up that ATC adventure. So we had ourselves uh, an ATC controlled flight with uh, Flight Simulator 2000. And this, uh, this was before Flight Simulator 2002. Uh, which had the ATC out of the box. And turned into the ATC that we're all familiar with um, leading into P3D. This is kind of looking a little weird here. Oh, here you go. St. Catherine, or Calvi, uh, Calvi, France. <laughs> 